Welcome to Carbon Audio's video about the XP800L sound systems. Now there's a few sound systems available, but all are the same and based around the XP800L powered mixer. The other systems include different size speakers. This system is the 10 inch speakers. We also have 12 inch and 15 inch speakers. All are two way, eight ohm speakers. This compact sound system would be great for band rehearsals, small club, small bar gig, and public address. Now the XP800L is an eight channel powered mixer, which means that the power amps to power your speakers are built into the mixer. Let's take a closer look at the mixer itself. Now you can see right off the bat, there are six XLR microphone inputs. The last two channels are actually stereo channels where channels five and six, seven and eight also include a pair of stereo RCA inputs. So you can connect stereo sources such as a keyboard, or maybe a sampler or any other stereo audio device can be connected here. Now just because you connect stereo sources to these channels, you can still also connect a microphone. So you've actually doubled up use on the last four channels. Now this is a powered mixer, which means that the power amps to drive your speakers are actually built in to the mixer. Amps one and two are typically configured to power your main speakers whether they're 10 inch, 12 inch, or 15 inch. All of the speakers for these sound systems are all eight ohm speakers. Now, if you were to configure this with just these two speakers connected, you'd be at 140 watts at eight ohms per channel. If you added an additional two eight ohm speakers to these, you would actually be at 250 watts at a four ohm load. One of the key features of this mixer is the ability to actually power your monitors without having to use a external power amp or powered monitor. If you wish to use an external power amp or powered monitor, you would actually connect your feed from the master section marked monitor. That's a line level output to feed a power amp or a powered monitor. However, if you wanted to power everything off of this mixer, you could hit this switch right here and you would connect your mains off of the left channel. Your right channel would then be dedicated to your monitors. And as we get into this mixer, you'll see that we have individual volume controls on each channel for both your mains and your monitors. So let's take a look at the channels. Starting from the top down, every single channel here offers a high, mid, and low EQ control. A monitor control, again, this controls the level of the monitors an effects send, and this we'll get into later on the master section, and a channel volume, channel level. And finally, for the first four channels here, you get a 20 dB gain switch for microphones. You would engage this switch if you're connecting a microphone. Moving on to the master section, as again, we had already covered, these are your speaker connections you have the ability to send line level signals out should you wish to augment your internal power amp. Your main control is here. Bring this level up for your mains. Bring this level up here for your monitors. Now as most musicians are probably familiar with, sometimes you get a little bit of feedback on stage when your monitors are feeding back into your microphone. The graphic EQ then helps you reduce certain problem frequencies to help reduce feedback. Now we have our master section here with our effects and we have our choice of selecting one of four different effects. And you also have the ability to adjust the parameters of each effect. So for instance, if it's a reverb, you have the ability to dial in the intensity of the reverb, the decay of the reverb, and customize it for your needs. Now, one of the cool features about this mixer that is a huge benefit for musicians on a budget is that not only do you send your effects to the mains for your audience to hear, but you also have the ability to send that same effect at a different level even to your monitors. Now, not every mixer in this price category would be offering such a benefit like that. So as most people would like to hear the same or maybe a slightly different level of effects that the audience is hearing in their monitor, you have that ability to custom mix that here in the master section. Now some of the other features here, 
tape out left and right, RCA connectors if you want to record the gig. We have a 48 volt phantom power switch here to engage phantom power if you want to connect condenser microphones. And we have a five volt USB port, which is ideal for connecting a gooseneck LED light that'll help illuminate the front panel in a dark situation. And what are the other features here? If you look at the top of the chassis, there's a blank panel here that can be easily removed. And what that panel reveals is a port to connect a wireless module. So this wireless module would drop inside and give you wireless lav mics, handheld mics, or a head-worn mic, should you require that. And what this does is it not only gives you the ability to use wireless, but it also adds an additional two inputs to the entire mixer. Channels three and four are set up to automatically receive the two wireless signals. Now on the wireless unit itself, you will see separate volume controls. So as you mix, you'll be adjusting your wireless signals coming into channels three and four and balance them with the microphones or other input signals you've already connected. So in a sense, you actually get an additional two inputs on channels three and four even if you've already used the quarter inch or XLR inputs. The wireless can be ordered when you purchase your mixer or your system and can be factory installed. Or if you already own one of these mixers, all you need to do is order the wireless package and you can easily connect that wireless pack with a couple of wires that are already present inside of the mixer. It's just a simple ribbon cable you connect and go. Now each XP800L sound system comes with two speakers, two microphones, two XLR microphone cables, and two 50-foot heavy-duty speaker cables. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we'll connect the microphone and making sure first to turn down all channel levels, master level, monitor level in the master section before we connect anything. Power is still off, we'll do that last. Connect the microphone. Now, Carvin's microphone actually comes with an on-off switch. Very convenient. Connect the XLR cable to one of the channels. We'll use channel one. Okay. Now we're going to connect the speakers. Okay, so very convenient to have the speaker connector on the front panel for such a small mixer. It's that easy. Then you just turn it on, hit the power switch. I've already plugged the power cable into the back. Give it a second as it goes through its processor checks. Power LED comes on. Now, let's slowly bring up the level, but because we've got a microphone connected, let's go ahead and hit our 20 dB gain mic switch. Make sure it's in. We'll bring it up to five just to see where we are. And I'm gonna be very cautious because I'm standing right in front of the speakers here, so I'm not gonna to wanna to have this thing cranked. Flipping the power switch on, or the on-off switch on to the microphone. I'm gonna bring up my mains just slightly. Check one, two. The system's already up and running. Here's a good tip. With a male vocal, it might be necessary to cut some low frequencies on that specific channel. Because with the flat response, the male vocal, especially when you get too close to the microphone, it gets very boomy. For added clarity, you could just clean it up by reducing the low frequencies just a bit. Well, there you have it. The XP800L sound system. It's the same system whether you've purchased the 10-inch, 12-inch, or 15-inch loudspeakers. Contact one of our friendly sales staff at 800-854-2235 or visit carbonaudio.com.